Welcome back. Casual video today. I needed to throw some makeup on my face and I thought I would turn on the camera so we could hang out for a little bit. Keep watching if you want to hang out with me and see how I got this look. Okay, let's get started. Um, I was thinking about what I wanted to do today and I decided to try to do all drugstore. I'm pretty sure I can do all drugstores, so that's what we're going to do today. Just kind of an everyday look. And I want to try this Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in 110 Ivory. This is relatively new. I have tried it a few times, but I'm still formulating an opinion. And I've noticed that it's kind of dry. So I'm going to do this with the uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. So today I just have a meeting this morning and then uh, some students this afternoon and this evening. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything over the top. Just kind of an everyday look. Now this is very unhygienic. So I think what I'll do is put a little on the back of my hand and then use this um, Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, the Beauty Blender-ish one. Oh yeah, see it's really thick. It really is like a whipped texture. We'll see how it goes. And let's start concealing. Color corrector in yellow, Maybelline. So I hope that it's not noisy. Can you guys hear like a fan type sound, like a really loud fan running because our apartment flooded. Oh yeah. Again, this is not a first time thing for us. And guy came by yesterday and set up like this huge dehumidifier, like commercial size dehumidifier in the bedroom. And there's like this big fan that's blowing and it's disgusting. I close the door. I apologize if you can hear that. We actually slept on the sofa last night, right there on the pullout sofa, which for a pullout sofa is okay, but my husband is like 6'2", doesn't quite fit. Okay, so I'm gonna go over that with the Hard Candy Glamouflage. So I'm a little tired this morning. <laughs> That's what my tea is for. Okay, so you guys, I started an Instagram and a Twitter, and I need you guys to go on there and follow me because, well, it's new, so I have no friends. So it's at Robin's Cup for everything. So I've been trying to do the Instagram thing, and Instagram I can kind of get into. I've never done it before because um, I'm lame. And, but the Twitter, the Twitter. Okay, I need you guys to go on Twitter and follow me, tweet me, friend me, like me, do that thing where we connect, and teach me how to do Twitter. Because I don't get Twitter, I don't understand how you actually talk to somebody on Twitter because you're like retweeting, but are you tweeting back and forth? I mean... I know, this is kind of pathetic. I can't tell what that looks like. Is my lighting weird? So when I first set up my Twitter and Instagram a few weeks ago, um, I set it up and I put everything in and I pressed join or whatever, and instantly people started following me. Like instantly, and I hadn't even told anybody I was doing it, and I was like, Keith, my husband, I was like, Keith, come here, look, like I have people that like me. People like me. People are following me, and he was like, Robin, those people have no idea who you are. They're either robots, or they're just randomly clicking everybody's profile. Thank you, Keith. Thank you for that lovely reality check. So if you were on there, be my friend, because all my friends are robots. And I think you guys are cooler than robots. I don't know what I think about this foundation, so I'm going to powder. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Transparent, because that is the color of my skin. 
Okay, so I just powdered my face and realized that I wanted to use a cream blush. Not recommended, but we're going to do it anyway. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Flushed. I've talked about a few of these. The orange one in my orange video thing and this one in, I don't know, other things. I like them. And the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I do think this blush works over powder pretty well. Crazy? But let's do eyebrows next. <sighs> okay, so I have an eyebrow thing. I've got to tell you guys. So when I was growing up, skinny eyebrows were everything. I'm turning 31 next month, and I was terrified of plucking my eyebrows because I did not have the super skinny eyebrows, and I saw way too many friends just, like, pluck their eyebrows to oblivion, and I was terrified, and too much of a chicken, so I never did it. And now that eyebrows are, like, in, like, they're trendy, which is ridiculous. Why are eyebrows trendy? I mean, it's just like, it's like saying your nose is trendy. It doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm certainly not going to pluck them to oblivion now. So I'm a total chicken, and one year, uh, a couple years ago, for Christmas, my sister had this eyebrow girl that she was obsessed with. She was amazing. And um, I think she was one of the girls that worked at Ulta for Benefit. She was one of the Benefit Bar girls. And so as a Christmas present, a couple years ago, my sister paid for my mom and for me to get our eyebrows done by her eyebrow girl. So she gives us this, like, a voucher or something on Christmas morning, and that's also where I got this Tweezerman spoolie thing, because that was part of our gift. And I was terrified. Well, I'm terrified, because I'm a wuss. So I had a couple weeks to kind of let my eyebrows grow out, but I don't really do anything other than, like, clean up around my eyebrows, so that was, I don't know if that really helped. And we had the appointment, the girl came over, and, okay, this is embarrassing. I told her, I was like, I am very attached to my eyebrows. I don't know how much of this I want to do. This is going to be a challenge. And she was up for the challenge. So first, I let her just, like, wax, like, around, like, the excess, not the eyebrow shaping stuff. And then it was time to actually do the eyebrows. And my mom went first. So I saw her do my mom. So I knew, it, like, she was good. Like, it wasn't bad. And so she quite literally took her tweezers. And she would say, okay, Robin, I want to take this eyebrow hair right here. Can I take that hair right there? And I would look at it in the mirror and say, Okay, that's fine, and she would take it, and then she'd say, okay, now, what about this one right here? And I said, no, I, I'm going to hold on to that one. Who does that? I was holding on to my eyebrow hairs for real, for dear life. It was, like, the weirdest thing ever. I'm such a freak. Like, girl's a professional. She knew what she was doing, and, I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I still have my eyebrows, and my poor sister, whatever, she knew. She knows what I'm like. She knew what she was getting into, but. This is what you get. These are the eyebrows. All I'm doing is filling them in a little bit with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. That was kind of a long story, sorry. I'm going to put down a base for my eyeshadow. This is the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. This is like their 99 cent eyeshadow. And you guys, I'm really upset because I was in the drugstore and I can't find this. Can you find this? And if you can, buy like six and send them to me because I'm having a panic attack. I need to look online. My friend Gloria was visiting and we were trying to get her one and we went like four different places and it wasn't there. That's not okay. They didn't check with me about that. I like, I use this every day. Um, there's pan, I hit pan. Stop getting so worked up. Okay, so I did my B.I.B. Rouge alternative haul, and I showed you guys this um, Physicians Formula palette I got for like 60% off. This is the Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow in Quartz Quartet, and it's just four matte, very neutrally eyeshadows. Can you see that? Um, I've only used it a couple of times. But I think I'm going to do something simple because I want to do lips. So I'm going to start with this little pinky peachy pinky shade and just put that kind of everywhere. This is not a tutorial. Whatever. Kind of using this as a transition color but bringing it down on the lid a little bit. And then I'm going to deepen it up with this kind of like mauve brownish color. Yeah, it's like a brownish mauve.
and then I'm gonna blend. So I started getting into this whole makeup thing probably like a year and a half ago. Um, I had bought some drugstore products and I hated them. They were terrible and I had just gone to Target and kind of looked around and picked up a couple things and being the type A person that I am, I decided I'm going to start doing research and figuring out everything I can about things before I buy them. And so I started looking online and like reading blogs and makeup reviews and it was it's kind of funny because at first I hated YouTube videos. Why would I want to watch a video of someone if I can just like read a blog post? And so I did that for a while. We're going to get a little deeper with the gray. Um, for probably like a couple months and one week, because this was last winter, I got really sick. Like really sick and I had a fever and I was in bed for a week and all I did was just like watch crap and read crap on my phone. It was pretty terrible, but I started watching YouTube videos and I got totally sucked into it and here I am. So things change. And I would say my gateway drug into this whole YouTube thing was Essie Button. I think a lot of us have had that experience watching Essie. Um, she had a drugstore lipstick video. So I need a new memory card really bad. Like, like I can't film another video until I have a new memory card because it keeps filling up. It fills up after like 15 minutes. And I just had to dump it again. So I took the dogs for a walk because it took a while. And now I'm going to try really hard not to have an asthma attack. That's all I'm saying. I love spring. I love when the weather gets warm. I am not into the cold weather. And then spring comes and I'm like, oh yeah, I can't breathe. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte. This is like a pressed pigment. A pressed pigment. It's just shimmery just to put on the lid. Kind of open the eye. It's really pretty. So what was I saying when I was so rudely interrupted like 20 minutes ago? Oh, so one of the first people I started watching on YouTube was Essie Button. Este is her name. And she had this uh, video up. It's probably a couple years old now, but it was her top 10 or top something favorite drugstore lipsticks. And I was like not into lipsticks. I'd had like a couple, you know, but was never really into it before. I think I watched that video like 20 times. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating, and I bought like every single one. That was the beginning of my lipstick obsession. Thank you, Este. I'm actually gonna add a little more of the peach. Pink, peachy, pinky peach. Just cause. And then, like I said, I'm keeping this natural, so I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of brown eyeliner. I'm going to put some of these colors on the lower lash line as well. I am a true drugstore mascara girl, but the only one I have right now is the Lash Blast Volume. It's a CoverGirl mascara in waterproof, and I got this for a wedding, for my friend's wedding that I was in a couple weeks ago. Um, I hate waterproof anything. Waterproof mascara, eyeliner, I just... I just want to take my makeup off at the end of the night and not be like fighting with my own face but this one's not too bad to take off so we're just gonna use it and I also hate plastic bristles which this has so basically I hate this mascara I don't I don't hate it that's just what it sounds like I'm saying I said bright lipstick and I meant it. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, which is like my favorite of those, that formula in Unapologetic. I think this one was 
in my drugstore favorite lipstick thing. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I hate lip gloss. Like they just drive me crazy, they get everywhere, they're sticky and fussy. But I decided that I need to start using lip gloss. Why do I feel the need to force myself into lip glosses? Clearly because I need to buy more crap. So I picked up a couple to start like try to pair with different things. So I think I'll try this CoverGirl Color, Cover Girl Colorlicious. How do they come up with this shit? Colorlicious gloss in Whipped Berry. What time is it? I have a meeting. We're good. Here's the final look. This is just a really easy everyday spring makeup look. That's what I was going for, all drugstore. I don't wear the same makeup every day, but this is an example of something I might do. Sorry about the hair. Dry shampoo fail. Working on a video on that for you. Um, so we're just going to pretend like I don't wear my hair in a ponytail every day. Let me know what you think. Do you like this type of video? If you do, I'll do more of them. If you don't, I won't. Let me know down below. And thanks for stopping by. I'm glad we had a chance to hang out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Shit. Okay, so I just powdered my face and realized that I wanted to use a cream blush. Okay. Let's pray that this is in focus. Just blend it. Without poking yourself in the goddamn eyeball. <clears throat> is going out a little bit more so I'm going to angle it up. Just adjust them until you're happy with it.